Speaking to me now is Welsh light heavyweight Justin Hill. Justin, how did you first become involved in boxing? Uh, my my great granddad boxed for Scotland. So as, as a kid, I would go up there and he'd always take me on the pads. And I just got into it from, my, from a young age, really, from like five or six. And I started my first fight when I was 11 then. What uh, attracted you to boxing? What made you stick in the gym and do all the hard training when the other kids quit? Um, at, at first, I was a really, really struggle, and I just, just wanted to be able to do it. When I see, seen all the older boys doing so well, I just wanted to stick at it till I become good at it. So I just kept coming, and just really, it's like a bu boxing bug. Just once you start, you can't stop. As a youngster, as an amateur, what, uh, what did you win any Welsh fest? What was your achievements? What was your dream as an amateur um, boxer? As, as a schoolboy, I had a couple of fights, and then I packed in. I come back when I was 17, then, and I had seniors. I, and I, end, I boxed a couple of times in a Welsh, but I always went it, went it to the person who won it. I did in, like, in the semi finals or whatever, so I didn't have much luck in the Welsh finals. As a young boxer, who did you watch or admire or train base your style around, if anybody? When I was young, my favourite boxer <laughs> growing up in, was like Nigel Ben, Yule Bank, and in, in also in America was Mike Tyson. Were they the type of fighters you used to try and base your style around, or have you got your own style? Um, I, I used to just love watching Tyson, just be aggressive, try being aggressive, and tight guard and just f throwing big bombs like Tyson. <laughs> What's your favourite Tyson fight? I mean, you get loads of good Greek knockouts. What's your favourite? Yeah, with Trevor Burbick when he when he stopped Burbick, um, Spinks when he stopped Spinks in like 90 odd seconds. Um, even like the early ones when he fought Joe Fries, um, Joe Fries and Marvin Fries. Yeah, just all all his fights were really exciting and just explosive. So they used to have a buzz just staying up late just to watch him. Just out of curiosity, who do you think would have won between Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali? Um, in it, in it, probably if you had to say, totally different thing. But I'd, I'd, I'd side with Tyson in this point with, with the aggression, like like because Freeze give Ali problems, Ken Norton give Ali problems. But Tyson was a lot more powerfuler and a lot more didn't get it as well. So I'd, I'd side with Tyson in, in his very prime. I would. What what reason do you have for turning professional? Um, I I box amateur quite a few times. Head guard and all. I just didn't seem to get on with the head guard and. I was boxing for trophies and then I seen all the boys and boxing pro and making money so I thought I'd just give it a go and just see how far I could go. What would you say is the main differences between the amateur game and the pro game apart from the obvious head guards and vests? Um, in the amateurs it's more pit the pattern point scoring and like you can you can run for the free reigns but in, in the pros you, you find people and they, they're 110% dedicated and they, they really want to hurt you so you can have a proper fight in the pros and go, you got to grind your teeth and Get in there, really, and take take it home, haven't you? Where in the amateurs, you can pick the pack. Then, if you're not 100 fit, you can, you can get away with it. But unless you're fit in the pros, you're going to get hurt. Do you feel your style is better suited to the pro game? Um, yeah, I do feel more things. So I when I got grit, I grit my teeth and grit deep, and obviously I, f I feel strong and I'm, I feel better for the pros. Where in the amateurs, it's all tall, rangy, point scoring. Where it just didn't suit my style. When can the Welsh boxing fans expect to see you boxing again? Um, I'll be boxing on July the 21st for the Welsh title against Jeff Evans in Newport Ledger Centre. What type of fighter is Jeff Evans? Have you watched him before, seen any tapes of him? Yeah, I've, I've, I've watched him before. He's, he's a good all-ring fighter, so that's why I've trained like I have. I'm 110% fit, so I, I won't be taking nothing lightly. I've, ju I've just trained because I know I expect an hard fight and just can't wait now for fight night.